Okay, I'm now going to talk about implicit arguments in functions. We've looked at arguments in functions, and the arguments that a function gets when it executes are those arguments that you've specified in the parentheses in the function uh, block, right? So not only do you get those arguments, you also get a couple of implicit arguments. Those are arguments that come whether you have declared it or not. In fact, you cannot declare it without things causing uh, problems. So <laughs> there is there are two arguments that you get for free. So what are those arguments? Let me let me explain by an example. Okay, so this is code that we've already seen before. I have a variable called add, which is a function, which is an addition, it takes two arguments, a and b, it returns the sum. And I'm doing a console.log, uh, I'm calling add with 10 and 30. So it should return 40, which it does. All right, nothing new here. Now, I don't wanna create multiple add methods for different number of arguments. Let's say I wanna create a generic add method, uh, which could take any number of arguments, right? I don't wanna have an add method for three and four and five. So how do you create something like this? In uh, the C++ and the Java side of things, there is this concept called var args, which is variable arguments. You can define something like a dot, 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 and it accepts as many arguments as you pass to it, and the whole arguments, you know, the list of arguments that you pass will be available as an array, okay? JavaScript has something similar, but you don't have to do the dot, dot, dot thing. The list of arguments that has, you know, that was sent in the invocation will always be available to you by an implicit argument, a hidden argument that you get out of the box, you get for free, and the argument name is called arguments. Okay, let me do a console.log here. And I pass and print this implicit argument called arguments. So this is something that JavaScript gives for you, right? You don't have to declare it. It just comes out of the box for every function. Now, if I were to run this, you see there you get the arguments list. You have zero and one, and then you have a couple more. Don't worry about these things for now, but you do get these two arguments, right? You have zero and one pointing to 10 and 30. Now, if I were to add more arguments here, let's say two, three, four, five, right? I have a bunch of different arguments that I'm sending. Of course, we looked at uh, JavaScript ignoring the extra stuff. It's only, you know, if what would be the value of A here? It would be 10. The value of B here would be 30, right? All these, I said, would be ignored. Well, they're not actually ignored. They're still captured in the arguments argument. Okay, now if I were to run this, uh, the argument list that gets printed, you see here, there is all those values are captured. But if you were to look at the sum of A and B, it's still 40 because A is still pointing to 10 and B is still 30. Okay, that hasn't changed. Uh, but the other stuff is still available to you. Okay, it's in the arguments uh, variable. It's the arguments argument that comes out of the box. So this is the first uh, hidden argument, the, uh, you know, the default argument that is available for every function. Whenever you write a function, you can assume there to be this arguments argument, okay? There is a second argument that is available to all functions. That, again, that's something that you get for free. You don't have to declare it. Can you guess what that is? We have already seen this. The answer is the this argument. We've seen that there is a this argument that uh, was passed to the function. We already we already saw how this points to the object that the function was a part of, right? That is also an implicit argument, but I'm not gonna cover it now. Covering the this argument requires detailed knowledge about constructors and how objects work, and uh, it's a topic for a different day. But uh, notice that, remember that there is this arguments argument, which is pretty straightforward. You can, you can get that and uh, use that. So here's, here's a quick exercise that I'm gonna do. I am going to have uh, this add function add up all the things that are passed to it, all the arguments that are passed to it, not just add A and B, okay? So I'm going to use this arguments thing as an array. Notice that I haven't told that it is an array. I said I'm gonna use it as an array, 
There is a minor distinction there. I'm going to get to it in a bit, but let me use it as an array. I'm going to use a for loop here. I'm going to say var i. So I'm going to have an i counter. Uh, and now I'm going to have a for loop for i equals zero, i less than arguments dot length. I plus plus. Now I have a for loop for the length of the arguments. And I'm going to have a sum here. And I'm going to do a sum plus equals arguments of i. And I'm going to return the sum. Now if I were to print add of those values you get the actual sum okay so it's adding everything up and now what well, interestingly since you're not using a and b here you're using the arguments argument which is the implicit argument you don't actually need a and b you can get rid of this there's no point in holding on to the first two when you're interested in the whole thing so one quick note that i should mention before we wrap up is that uh, i told you that i'm using the arguments uh, value as an array but it, it's not an array that is actually true. The value that gets passed to the arguments variable is not an array. It does look like an array because you you know that's what we did, right? They said arguments of i. But it's actually an object that's not an array. It's basically using the square bracket operator to look up the values. If you were to try some of the other operations that would work on an array, it wouldn't work on the objects on the arguments value. So again, for the most part, for you know doing something like arguments start length and looking up arguments with the square bracket operator, it's still gonna work. So remember that it's not an array, but it can be used like one for most purposes.